Midday the Sue Solo Way on Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 1079, Best Friend. You know, we love to be a part of the community, but most importantly, we like to highlight people that are doing the work every single day and bridging the gap. So today we're talking to Kyle Wade, Atlanta Community Food Bank president and CEO, and Layla Ali, former world champion boxer and CEO of Layla Ali Lifestyle. So happy to have you both in here. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. No, thanks for coming. So I think, you know, we pretty much know what the Atlanta Community Food Bank is for, right? But we don't really maybe understand who it actually services. Who are the people that benefit from such a program? Yeah, well, right now the uh, lines at food pantries across North Georgia are really long. Uh, we're uh, experiencing um, a, a lot of demand for food assistance. Uh, families across our community uh, are really struggling with the mm-hmm. impact of inflation over the last couple of years. And it's resulted in a 40% increase in the number of people that we're serving. So we're talking about, of course, low-income seniors, disabled folks, the homeless population. But really the largest number of people that we're serving are working families with mm-hmm. kids who are trying to make ends meet. And when your gas and food bill every week is up 100 bucks mm-hmm. compared to what it was, well, that makes things a lot harder if you're a family with limited means. So yeah. the food bank is really trying to distribute more food than we ever have. We need resources to do that, and we need the support of the community in order to really fight hunger at the level that we need to right now. You know what I think is really important, Kyle, is for some reason, hunger seems to have a face. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't assume that someone that actually has a home or has a job could be without food. Right. How do we change the mindset of of the people that believe hunger has a face. Yeah, I think it starts with just recognizing, you know, the facts. And, you know, more than half of the folks that we're serving are people who are in homes where someone's working yeah. outside the home. Uh, it's also important to just do some math. You know, if you think again about, hey, I'm spending an extra 100 bucks a week on mm-hmm. food and gas, and you add that up over the course of the year, that's $5,000. Well, if you're a family with $50,000 in annual income, meaning you don't qualify for any of the benefit programs that uh, people rely on, you're now having to replace 10% of your income pre-tax that you didn't have to account for just two years ago. So that is, that's really a lot of pressure on a family to replace 10% of your income. Where are you going to get that from? That's why so many folks in our community right now need help. They're just on the verge of uh, of being economically vulnerable all the time, and just this increase in prices has pushed them over the edge. Going into your 40th year of service, you all have raised more than $14.5 million for hunger relief. That's about 43 million meals. Miss Layla Ali, where do you come in on this? What What is your take, and, and what do you help provide to this cause? I love the work that the Atlanta Community Food Bank is doing, making a difference in the community, Um, You know, all the support that we give by showing up uh, for the event, by donating money, really bringing awareness to the need really makes a difference. Everyone can do it. And I'm here because I've been working with Feeding America, which is a partner of the Atlanta Community Food Bank. And through them, I have donated my time and services to other food banks. I've also donated my Layla Ali spice blends so that families can cook delicious meals with my organic spice blends. And I just love giving back in that way. So I'm going to be there to cheer everyone on, to do the countdown, to start the race, and hopefully inspire um, everyone to continue staying involved, continue um, being a part of this fight against hunger. Have you ever experienced someone maybe that you have worked closely with and kind of had a shocking discovery of, oh, this person may not be able to provide, you know, food for for themselves? We're talking about people that have jobs and have homes. Absolutely. You've Absolutely. encountered that closely. Well, I have a lot of most of my friends. Um, you know, my friends are not celebrities mm-hmm. or athletes. You know, I have my best friends are hairstylists. Yes. You know, I used to be a manicurist. I, that was the first thing I did was nails. I never knew that. Oh okay. yeah, I, I've worked a regular job. Worked mm-hmm. at McDonald's was my first job. Mm-hmm. You know, was an entrepreneur. Still am. Yeah. But um, everyone is affected right now by how the economy changes. I mean, I even look at my bill. I'm like, golly, I got two bags of groceries, one hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. You know. Um, so when people are on a limited budget, right, it ha- they have less money. And even if they don't feel like they're affected now, when it comes time, you're saving up money for your kid's college or whatever it is, everyone is going to be affected. Yeah. So, yeah, but absolutely, I've seen it and I've seen people need help. And like you said, as you started, mm-hmm. a lot of times, even I did, before I got involved with Feeding America, I used to think, oh, it was just homeless people, like when you think of hunger. But no, there's a lot of working families that are yeah. just trying to make 
ends meet and put a hot meal on the table for themselves and their children. And that's why I like to be involved. I absolutely love it. So you're going into your 40th. (coughs) Excuse me. You're going into your 40th anniversary of the Hunger Walk and Run. Now, we can walk or we can run, right? There's no pressure (laughs) to run, is there? No. I mean, most of the people who will be out there uh, this weekend will be walking. I mean, if you want to run, we get you out first, and and you can – Go for a personal record, do whatever you need to a do. Personal record. <laughs> Most of us will be walking, and it's just a real fun environment. Uh, we're at the Home Depot backyard right next to Mercedes Benz Stadium. Mm-hmm. It's a family friendly atmosphere. We'll have bouncy houses and games that the kids can play. There are going to be food trucks there. So you've got plenty of other activities yeah. within this. And then initiative. even on okay. the route, there's going to be uh, musicians and performers. So it kind of feels like a street festival yeah. as you're walking through downtown. It's just a really fun experience. Uh, and uh, brings the community together uh, in a really powerful way to do something great and really help us fight hunger across our community. I absolutely love that that it is like a festival. It sounds mm-hmm. like a festival, and I think it's so important to, especially kids these days, you got to kind of meet them where they are, and right. they don't typically gravitate towards serious matter unless there's something fun involved. So That's I appreciate right. you setting it up that way. Would it be an appropriate time for someone to run up to Layla and say, ma'am, can I have an autograph? Can I have a photo? Is that an appropriate time? Absolutely. I will be there after I count down the race. I'm not going to run off. I'm going <laughs> to stay, and I'm going to take photos, and I'll be signing autographs, as many as I can. So you're absolutely um, welcome to come up and meet me in person. I would love to come you to come so you can meet me. I love that. What's the goal this year? Well, we hope to raise close to a million dollars, uh, and uh, that will help us provide a lot of food and resources yeah. out to the community. Uh a big part of the way we do our work uh, is that we have 700 community-based nonprofit partners uh, that we supply with food and resources, and they distribute that food and resources okay. to people in need in their local communities. Uh, and so a lot of this support is really going to help support the needs of those partners okay. so that they can serve more people. For more information, you can contact Hunger Walk Run at hungerwalk at acfb.org or You can call 404-419-1723. Thank you both so much for coming in today. Thanks for having us. Thank you.